All right, take a good look at this picture. Do you have any idea what it really is? Play along with my online game, what is it really, as we kick off season six of Kicking Back with Jersey Joe. After a series of ties, it's back for another edition of What Is It Really? You guys love playing this game. I put super zoomed in close-up pictures online and you try to figure out what it is. And we'll see who walks the winner with the most correct guesses at the end of this web show. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's play What Is It Really? All right, that funky music's are going. It's time to put up what your guesses are. So what is this really? Starman guesses it's DNA. I and I says, not a butterfly dick. It is not. Heather says, well, Joe, you got me stumped on this one, but I'm going to have to say some kind of sparkler. That's the idea. These aren't easy. Andrew guesses it's a long exposure photo of a firefly orgy. Okay. Jason thinks it's a metal shredder, grinds up old metal signs and things like that. Trina guesses a moving sparkler held by a person wearing a shirt with writing on it. And Joe guesses it's an Edison decorative light. So what is it really? Boom, Joe got it right. It is actually a decorative light. He nailed it perfect. Well, that's kind of crazy because he's the only one to go up the leaderboard, so boom, there he is. Let's put him up. Joe is correct on the board with one point. Man, that leaderboard looks lonely with only one name on there, right? So let's try to add a few more as we move on to picture number two. All right, take a good look at it. Think fast. Do you have a guess as to what it is? Well, Luke guesses it's a coal miner's lung. Jason thinks it looks like the blob. David says, Alien Intruder, The Blob, or Tuna Tartar, hashtag my best guess. Danielle guesses it's Watermelon. Ryan thinks it's a close-up of Watermelon. Nicole thinks Frozen Watermelon Drink. Keith, a carpet made of watermelon. Jason, Frozen Strawberry Drink. Lauren guesses it's a Strawberry Smoothie or Ice. Teresa guesses it's a Raspberry. Trina guesses Stewed Italian Tomatoes. Marianne, Spaghetti Sauce. M.H. Braverman, pot of gravy, also known as sauce. Craig Brewster 28, penne alla vodka. Nikki thinks it's a fruit roll-up. Chris guesses pizza. Courtney guesses pizza. Heather Ann McKee, tomato sauce for either pizza or spaghetti. And Joe guesses looks like Philly tomato pie. So what is it really? Boom, they got it right. It's pizza and Joe actually nailed it perfectly again. It is actually Philly pizza pie. I got this in a Philadelphia pizzeria. Crazy, he's dead on two for two, but we got a few more names going up the leaderboard and they are. Chris Demano goes up with one. Courtney goes up with one. Heather M. McKee goes up with one. And Joe, he goes to two. All right, got a few more names going on up there now. We got a game going. So let's move on to our third picture. Hmm, all right, definitely some type of object. Okay, that was no help there. Well, what's your guess? Keith guesses, I don't know, Joe, I just don't know. Art thinks, I don't know, Margo. Okay, I have no idea what those guesses are for. Jennifer guesses it's a piano. Maximilian, the inside of a music box. BC, AKA the man. That is definitely eye doctor stuff. Chris Demondo, eye exam glasses. Greg Bruiser 28, these are prescription options usually seen at the eye doctor's office. Hashtag which is better, number one or number two. Heather M. McKee, eye exam lens. One, two, or three. Jason guesses a rack of lens to check your eyes. Jay Garvey, eye exam lenses. Joe Nolfi, that's exactly what it is. Optometrist drop-in lenses. I've worn glasses since I was seven. Marianne, eye exam lenses, which is better, one or two? And you're in for learning guesses. Don't know correct name, but is used by optometrists to hold lenses for eye exam. So what is it really? Yeah, you saw it coming. It's exactly an optometrist eye exam lenses. Hey, my eyes are shot and I have to go all the time and I'm an expert at going to the eye doctor and what those lenses are. Apparently a few of you are too because you got it right. So let's see how that changes the leaderboard. That means BC the man goes up with one. Chris Demondo goes to two. Courtney stays at one. Craig Producer 28 goes up with one. Heather M. McKee, she goes to two. Jason York goes up with one. Jay Garvey goes up with one. Joe Nofi, he goes to three. Look at that. Marianne goes up with one. And Yearn for Learning also goes up with one. All right, got lots of names on that board now. Lots of chances for somebody to walk away winner on this episode. Let's find out as we move on to our next picture. All right, I admit it, I'm getting tough on you on this one. That's done on purpose. You gotta play to win. So what is this really? Arthur guesses it's a push button. 
Joe Nolfi, well, it's a metal push button, but to what? Almost looks like a starter button or a latch. Could be a horn. I'll say an on-off button. Do I have to get more specific? Yes, you do. Okay, how about an on-off switch to a lamp? Thanks, Joe, for playing by the rules. Jason guesses an effects button on a pedal board. Heather guesses it's a spark plug. Tom, it's a Ferramus. HR Merrily thinks it's a shutter button. Uber Dead guesses it's a shutter release on a camera. Heather and McKee think it's a high beam switch. Courtney guesses it's a bench press bar. Mike guesses a power switch. Kathleen, coin return. Keith, it's the button, like the holy crap button. So what is it really? Ah, uh, it was tough, but it's a push to flush button on an Amtrak train. Okay, look, I know a bunch of you guessed push button. Eh, you gotta be a little more specific than that. You don't have to say Amtrak train, but you know, push to do something. Make a guess. So anyhow, nobody got exactly right. So unfortunately, nobody goes up on the leaderboard. It stays the same. There it is once again for you to peruse one more time. Speaking of one more, let's go on to one more, our final picture. All right, another tough one, but you had a lot of guesses this time. Do you have yours? Because here we go. Heather guesses it's Donald Trump's hair dye. Keith, Trump's hair piece in the washer. At Cool Papa 654, Donald Trump's hair after getting caught in a rainstorm after playing 18 holes of golf. Or a pot of boiling ramen noodles. C. Wojtek thinks it's Coke. Ionized, cooking weed pasta. Trina guesses it's foam from a soda. Nicole guesses it's soda bubbles in glass. Heather guesses it's root beer float foam. The other Heather guesses it's root beer foam. Christy, foam from a Coke. Lauren, Diet Coke bubbles. HR Merrily's, beer foam. Hmm, that would be fun. Denise guesses it's cheese pizza. Yvonne, butter and sugar boiling to make caramel or caramel, however you say it. Pondemonium guesses you're making candy and you're waiting for it to get to the right temperature. Dang! Look at it again, and it looks like you're cooking some wort. Okay, answer change there, that's acceptable. April guesses the close-up of a pigskin. Cheech or Ani. Jay Garvey, top of a creme brulee. Ooh, that would be succulent. Jason guesses it's oil in a deep fryer. What are you cooking up? And Yvonne, she also guesses it's frying oil. Well, what is it really? They got it right, it is oil in a deep fryer. Okay, some more names are going up the leaderboard, but will somebody be the top leader? Let's find out right now. Ooh, the anticipation, right? Well, here we go. BC the man stays at one. Chris stays at two. Courtney stays at one. Craig producer 28 stays at one. Heather M. McKee stays at two. Jason York, he goes to two. Jay Garvey stays at one. Joe Nolfi stays at three. Marianne stays at one. Yennefer Lerner stays at one. And Yvonne Lynn Mooney goes up with one. That means we got an undeniable winner. Joe Nolfi walks in winner with three points on the leaderboard. Yes, we got ourselves a winner on this episode. That means Joe goes up on the final leaderboard, which looks like this. All right, it's great to add a name on our final leaderboard. So, Eli Pizarro, who changed his Twitter handle a couple times, he's on there with one. Ah, let's add Joe Nolfi. He goes on the board with one. And Rock for Guitar, he's on there also with one. They have each won one complete game. That's a lot of fun. If you want to try to win a game too, play along every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. I put the super zoomed in picture on my Twitter and my Instagram page, and you too can play along. Enter your guests, just get in before midnight. And hey, maybe you can win the most points and win the final episode to get your name on the final leaderboard, right? It's all about having fun here. I love game shows. You guys have lots of great answers too, so apparently you do too. So click that like or subscribe button. Don't want to miss an episode of Kicking Back Jersey Joe and ah, uh, my other fun going on here on my Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Speaking of Jersey Joe, that's me, your internet friend, saying thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and I'll see you next time, I hope.